Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Friday, November the 3rd, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia, and I am here to read the scriptures selected for today by the Revised Common Lectionary, the three-year plan that takes us through all of scripture. We're in year A of those three years, and we're in the church season called After Pentecost. We begin today with Psalm 43. Vindicate me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. From the deceitful and unjust man, deliver me. For you are the God in whom I take refuge. Why have you rejected me? Why do I go about mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy, and I will praise you with the lyre, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. <clears throat> our, our Old Testament reading comes to us from the book of the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 13, verses 1 to 16. The prophet writes, The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel who are prophesying, and say to those who prophesy from their own hearts, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, Woe to the foolish prophets who follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Your prophets have been like jackals among ruins, O Israel. You have not gone up into the breaches or built up a wall for the house of Israel that it might stand in battle in the day of the Lord. They have seen false visions and lying divinations. They say, declares the Lord, when the Lord has not sent them, and yet they expect him to fulfill their word. Have you not seen a false vision and uttered a lying divination whenever you have said, declares the Lord, although I have not spoken? <coughs> Pardon me. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have uttered falsehood and seen lying visions, therefore, behold, I am against you, declares the Lord God. My hand will be against the prophets who see false visions and who give lying divinations. They shall not be in the council of my people, nor be enrolled in the register of the house of Israel, nor shall they enter the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord God, precisely because they have misled my people, saying, Peace, when there is no peace, and because when the, the people build a wall, these prophets smear it with whitewash, say to those who smear it with whitewash that it shall fall. There will be a deluge of rain, and you, O great hailstones, will fall, and a stormy wind break out, and when the wall falls, it will not be said to you, Where is the coating with which you smeared it? Therefore, thus says the Lord God, I will make a stormy wind break out in my wrath, and there shall be a deluge of rain in my anger and great hailstones in wrath to make a full end. And I will break down the wall that you have smeared with whitewash and bring it down to the ground so that its foundation will be laid bare. When it falls, you shall perish in the midst of it, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Thus will I spend my wrath upon the wall and upon those who have smeared it with whitewash. And I will say to you, the wall is no more, nor those who smeared it. The prophets of Israel who prophesied concerning Jerusalem and saw visions of peace for her when there was no peace, declares the Lord God. Our reading from the New Testament comes from Peter's first letter, second letter, sorry, Second Peter, chapter 2, verses 1 2 and 3. Peter writes, But false prophets also arose among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the master who bought, who bought them, bringing upon themselves swift destruction. 
and many will follow their sensuality, and because of them the way of truth will be blasphemed, and in their greed they will exploit you with false words. Their condemnation from long ago is not idle, and their destruction is not asleep. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God. May you be praised for the generous provision of it to us and grant that through the power of your Holy Spirit, your word may be written in our minds and on our hearts and in our very souls, wherein it can work in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray this to your glory in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. As always, friends, I commend you for taking just a few moments from your day to hear the Word of God read, and it is my great privilege and honor to do that for you. I've taken the references from option one, which is what I read, and option two, the alternate readings for today, and I've placed them in the description portion of this video so that you'll have them to refer to, so you can look them up and read them and meditate on them yourself. And I pray that we will be together again tomorrow to hear the scriptures chosen for that day. Until then, may you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.